What's up YouTube, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys a review of the Air Jordan 11 Retro Low in the Legend Blue colorway. First off, I want to give a huge shout out over to the Closet Ink. The Closet Ink is my go-to spot for Air Jordan retros like this, and they're independently owned and operated right here in Southern Ontario in Canada. So for all my Canadian viewers out there, I'll link their social media, their website, all that good stuff down below, so be sure to check them out and show them some love. So the release date for these Air Jordan 11s has been pushed back to May 7th. They're set for a retail price of $185 US dollars or $240 here in Canada. And the official colorway for this shoe is Legend Blue, White and Black. So this is a low top version of the Legend Blue Air Jordan 11, which released back in 2014, which was modeled after the original Air Jordan 11 Columbia's. And for those that are relatively newer to the sneaker scene, I know it might sound crazy, but for the longest time, the Air Jordan 11's were arguably more popular than the Air Jordan 1. This sneaker world has pretty much gone a complete 180 though, and I think it's fair to say that the Air Jordan 11, these days at least, seems relatively underrated. So first off, here's a quick look at the box, and this comes in a special OG inspired box. On the top, we have this black cardboard lid with Air Jordan with this Columbia Blue or Legend Blue color Jumpman, and we have this Nike Air branding on the side of the box too. As for the shoes, so this is your low top version of your classic Air Jordan 11. So of course, surrounding the outer edge of the upper of the shoe, we have this patent leather, which in this case is done in this white color. Unlike some of the Jordan 11s from years past, this patent leather actually feels decently soft, and it doesn't really have that overly hard plastic feel that some Jordan 11s had maybe 5 to 10 years back. Above the patent leather, instead of the mesh that's found on the Concords and the Space Jam 11s for example, here we have this nice and soft white colored leather. Running across this forming the eyelids of the shoe, we have these strips of white colored nylon, and then intertwining through this we have your signature thick rope laces in white. Underneath this we have this white colored mesh tongue, and then running across the middle, we have this legend blue colored tag with Jumpman Jordan branding running across. So the patent leather wraps around the entire back heel of the shoe, and then embroidered in the center we have a legend blue colored Jumpman, and at the very top, we have the number 23 pressed into this black colored fabric, which extends from the inner liner of the shoe. So the inside of these Jordan 11s is lined in this black colored textile, and it's similarly done on the back side of the tongue as well. But stitched onto the back of the tongue, we have this tag which is found on most of your Air Jordan 11s, and it reads quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. For the insole, these actually come with a polyurethane insole, which was a nice added bonus. It's lined in this black fabric at the very top, and we have the Jumpman logo and the number 23 stamped on the heel. So the upper of these Air Jordan 11 lows sits atop this full length Phylon foam midsole. Encapsulated within this midsole but not visible to the eye, we have a full length air sole unit for cushioning. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your classic Air Jordan 11 outsole. So in this case, this is done in this semi-translucent icy blue colored finish. We have these black rubber pods on the forefoot and the back heel, which incorporates a herringbone traction pattern. And then between the midsole and the outsole, we have this carbon fiber shank plate to give you added torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these Air Jordan 11 lows. For those wondering how these fit, to me these fit exactly the same as all my other Air Jordan 11s, so I personally recommend sticking true to size. So I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side, I got these in a size 10 and they fit me great. But your mileage may vary, whatever size you normally are for Air Jordan 11s, I just stick with that same size for this one. Moving on to the topic of comfort, so the Air Jordan 11 is not bad straight out of the box, but in my opinion it's definitely a shoe that feels a lot more comfy over time and with wear. So some of the older Air Jordan 11s in my collection, they definitely feel much more comfier, they feel more broken in, and they form better to my feet. But I feel like brand new straight out of the box, the low top version feels a bit more comfy than the normal mid or high tops, and that's just because I have a bit more ankle mobility and a bit more freedom in my range of motion. Finally in terms of the quality and craftsmanship on this pair, all in all I was pretty happy. Like I mentioned earlier, the patent leather has a decent softness to it, the leather they use on the upper feels decent as well, and all in all this is a pretty well built shoe and I honestly had no complaints. With all that out of the way now, let's lace up these Legend Blue Jordan 11 lows and I'll show you guys how these look on feet.
Like I said from the start, the Air Jordan 11, while it's not as popular as it once was, to me it's still one of my top 5 Air Jordan silhouettes. While I already own a pair of the Legend Blue Jordan 11s, I think that this low top version it just makes it much more wearable in the summertime, and I think this shoe looks super crispy, super clean, especially from pairing it with a pair of shorts. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Legend Blue Air Jordan 11 Low. When these drop in North America on May 7th, is this going to be a cop or a drop for you? And if you're passing on this shoe, is it because this is a low top version or you're just not a big fan of the Jordan 11s in general? If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca Before I end this video, another huge shout out goes out to The Closet Inc. So again, for all my Canadian viewers, be sure to check them out, links are down below. So until next time, thank you so much for tuning in, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.